Hello, everybody, and good day. This is Fred Wood Tech Talk, and I am coming at you today uh, in regards to a special bulletin that was released to Hikvision dealers and partners uh, yesterday. It involves um, the security of the IBM S4200 app. There was a internal FTI audit done uh, on Hikvision software, which was pretty much in response to NDAA compliance and the U.S. government ban on Hikvision equipment. As we all know, Hikvision's not allowed to be installed in federal government installations because of security concerns. So Hikvision does this internal audit, and the audit, uh, the FTI audit, finds sure enough that when Hikvision IBMS is installed, it actually connects to several servers uh, in China. Uh, oh no, that's a big deal. So Hikvision uh, updated IBMS. They said they didn't know about this. It was a, uh, you know, a plug-in with the older IBMS and that it was corrected with the newer version of IBMS. So we're just going to go over this letter quickly. It says, Dear Valued Partner, again, it's dated February 18, 2022. We would like to take this opportunity to address FTI Consulting's discovery of an outdated function in IBMS 4200. Importantly, the latest version of IBMS 4200 is available here. Okay, we're going to cover that in a minute, how to download the newest IBMS. In November 2021, Harris, Whitshire, and Granis LLP submitted an FTI, FTI consulting report to the FCC, which was a result of an extensive cybersecurity assessment conducted by FDI consulting at the request of Hecvision. The cybersecurity assessment included both network analysis and source code review. In the report, FTI consulting wrote, Upon loading IBM S4200, FDI identified multiple connections to servers located in China. These connections occur at the time the application is started by the user. FDI was able to determine that these connections were caused by either incomplete or outdated functions that had not been fully removed. Further conversations with Hikvision developers helped FDI understand that this was the result of an outdated function used to connect with an old Alibaba hosting service. Um, that has now come to end of life. Hikvision immediately updated the IBM S4200 software and removed this outdated function during the FDI review and prior to the public release of the FDI report. The updated version of IBM S, version 3.6.1.6, was released on November 1st, 2021. While the outdated function does not pose a security or privacy threat, it is recommended that all users install the latest updates. Okay. Um, and I'm going to post this alert uh, in the description to this video. But what this is telling us, folks, is if you have not installed your IBMS in the last month or so, uh, it's time to delete that old version of IBMS and download this new one to protect your cybersecurity. It's a relatively simple process. We're going to cover it right now. Let's get into the meat and potatoes. Before we do, you know the drill. There is a subscribe button in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. Please click on that and subscribe to our channel so you'll be notified when we upload future content just like this. Also, like the video if the content is useful to you. And as always, leave comments. A lot of these videos, this content is based on subscriber questions and comments. So the first thing we need to do is locate the IVMS program on your computer. Okay, the easiest way to do that is go into your control panel um, and there is a uninstall program function right here okay so we're going into control panel we're going to uninstall program and we're just going to find IBMS okay it's in this mess somewhere I promise you IBMS 4200 okay right here in the middle we're going to click on that and then we're going to hit uninstall. Okay. Do you want to uninstall or change this application? Yes, we do. We need to uninstall it. Confirm to completely remove this program. Okay. Yes, we do. Um, before you do this, if you have any devices in HIK Connect that were added by IP address, not by HIK Connect. Okay. If they're not added by HIK Connect account and they're added 
to IVMS by the facility's uh, static IP address, okay, you want to write down that IP address before we do this, okay, because you're going to have to reinstall uh, the software once we're done with this step um, and re-enter those devices, okay. So make sure you have the credentials for any of the systems that are connected to the old IBMS. But we're going to hit OK, and it's going to install this program, okay. So we're going to have to give this a second to do this, um, and we will catch up and pick up the video uh, when it's completed. Clear all remaining database and logs. Yep. Uninstallation complete. Okay, so now we have deleted IVMS, the previous version, the harmful version from the PC, and we want to download the new secure one, okay? So to do that, we're going to go to that bulletin, we're going to click on the link. Again, there's a link in the description of this video for the new IVMS, and we're going to install that on our PC. All right, so we have reopened the special bulletin by Hikvision. Um and as I stated, there is a link here for the latest version of IVMS 4200. Okay, so we're going to click that. Again, this link is in the description to our video. And once we click that, it's going to bring us to Hikvision's website uh, and link us to the latest software. Okay. There's a download for Mac, and there is also a version for Windows. As you can see, this is version 3.7. Dot zero 0.5 and the updated version uh, 3.616 uh, is the version in which they corrected this issue. So this is actually one later than the November release. Um, so it's even more secure. But let's go ahead and click that and we will download this program and install it on our computer. Okay. It looks like we have two minutes. Um, for this to happen. So I will continue the video once this file is downloaded and we're ready to install it. All right, so the IVMS file has finished uh, downloading. Now we can install it. So we're going to open the file. Uh, it's going to ask you if you want to allow access. Um, yes. And we're going to we're going to agree to the terms in the license agreement and hit next. Um, Okay, for this, most of us only need video, okay? Um, we're not using access control and e-mapping and time and attendance and all that stuff. Um, so unclick everything to keep this secure, and we're just going to have basic configuration and video clicked, okay? And we'll hit install. And it is installing this driver, this program, onto the PC right now. Much faster also than the old IVMS void. That that took forever to install, to download and install. Um, this seems to be going a little bit quicker. So let's let this finish up. All right, there we go. It has finished up. Um, you want to click um, that we want to create a desktop icon. Okay, uh, you certainly want that. And we want it to launch the client after the installation. So we can go ahead and click finish. This is just the firewall um, detecting a unknown publisher. Um, we do know that that is HecVision. Um, so you're going to have to do that. Um, once the installation is completed, it's going to prompt you to create a super user uh, administrative account that is specific to your computer. This has nothing to do with the NVR, DVR, or IP cameras that you're going to connect to. This is just to lock the app that's running on your computer. Okay, so you can put in whatever you want here. You've heard me speak in the past, always click auto uh, login. If you click auto login, when you log into this program in the future, it will not prompt you for your credentials. So you don't have to worry about using uh, the password that you just created, unless it's a multi-use computer and you don't want others to use the program, okay? Then you would leave auto login unclicked and you would have to enter the password each time, 
okay? I'm the only one that uses this computer. I have a lot of passwords, so it makes it easier for me just to auto log in, okay? So we're gonna have to log in. Uh, here are the security questions that you will answer um, in case you forget your password, right? If you forget your password and you complete this step, if you forget your password in the future, uh, they will send a reset link to your email provided you could answer these questions and you can reset your password. Okay. I'm just going to do some generic favorite teachers. I don't think any of my teachers are watching this, but I like Mrs. Welsh. She was a good math teacher. All right. Oh. All right, so now it's launching. As you can see, again, so much faster. They removed all the gunk, right? All the connections to different servers, all of those issues. If you think back with IVMS a couple years ago, it took forever to load this program up. Now we know why, right? It was connected to servers in China. Oh, God. Now it's not. So um, hopefully everything is on the up and up. The unfortunate thing with surveillance equipment, we've talked about it before, is most of the stuff, these chipsets, are manufactured in China. Um, the limited ones that are manufactured in the United States um, and some of the NDAA compliance stuff, uh, the price points are still very high. Um, so uh, do due diligence. You know what I mean? If you have a uh, HEC vision or a DAWA system installed uh, in your home or place of business, make sure you have firewalls, right? Make sure the uh, internal network, your LAN, is on a separate network than the cameras. And then if this stuff is hacked, uh, the worst case scenario is, hey, they, they see a camera. You know what I mean? So hopefully because of these internal audits, this stuff is addressed. Um, once you're in here, um, you would add your devices, okay? Most everybody, again, there's a link going across the top of the screen right now, but most everybody now hooks their HEC vision, NVRs, DVRs, and IP cameras uh, to the HIK connector, the IBMS app, uh, via P2P and HIK Connect. So you can log in with a username and password for all your devices. There's no need to port forward um, and to log in by dynamic IP address anymore or static IP address. Um, P2P takes care of all that. So we'll just log into an account here and make sure that everything works with this. Aroma Joe's. Customer of us. Good coffee, too, boy. All right. Looks like I'm going to have to rename all of my stuff, but that's all right. Um, so let's just pull up a camera. And there you go. Everything works. Uh, no encoding errors, none of that type of stuff. Um, looks like the program works great. Again, when you rename these, um, which you'll have to do when you install IVMS, you can just go to the location. There's three dots right here. Um, you can click on that um, and edit the name. Okay, so if I wanted to write Aroma Joe's, I could. If I wanted to go and rename all of the cameras, okay, this would be entrance. Um, that's how you do that with those dots, okay? And unfortunately, you do have to do that um, every time you add a device to to um, to IBMS. Uh, some of these have secure stream keys that I have to enter. Um, to get the video up, but that is how it works, folks. Um, not a super big deal. It is a upgrade and an improvement that you want to make if you use HecVision equipment. Um, again, there's links in the description to this video to download the new IVMS. And we'll do that. Until next time, we'll see you in the field.